This video will demonstrate uh, managing service orders in the mobile install interface. So uh, in order to do that, uh, you need to publish your service orders from SI2015 to mobile install. Uh, to do that, you're going to go to uh, start schedule manage service orders. This will open up the service order explorer um, where you, of course, can create your service orders. And when you are ready to uh, publish these to mobile install, you can do that uh, up here and uh, you can you know, select I'll just do all three here uh, they've already been published you can see that here but uh, you can republish at any time Go ahead and hit publish you get the option here of um, attaching any uh, reports uh, service order reports the stock ones as well as uh, any custom ones that you've created and you can also attach any other files here um, any other reports out of um, SI 2015 or just any other documents that you want to send out uh, to the mobile install interface uh, relating to this uh, service order. Um, just click the new button there and then add your files. Go ahead and click publish and this is going to publish out to the uh, mobile install interface. Another setting um, prior to publishing that you can use if you want to it are the uh, site labor settings. So if you want to adjust these um, for each uh, service order you can and publish them individually. Uh, but what this is showing is um, you can have site labor selected, which is a, a labor item that's out of your software. If you click select here, it's going to pull up your list of what um, labor items you've created. And you can select one of these if you choose. Uh, or you can just type in a site uh, labor price per hour. Uh, and this is for managing um, and adding labor. Um, to the service order within the mobile install interface. Um, they're called site items, labor being one of them. Um, so again, you can set a rate here. And you also have the ability to allow or not allow the mobile installers to change the site labor, um, meaning everything that they will add will be set at $100 uh, per hour. In this example, uh, they wouldn't be able to add $100 um, an hour one and then add one for $150 an hour, say, for uh, programming, uh, if you do uh, restrict that. Here at the login screen uh, for mobile install, uh, you're going to go ahead and enter your credentials and then click login. And uh, it's going to open up to your dashboard here. And uh, this shows uh, all of your tasks and service orders that have been published uh, to mobile install. Uh, they're categorized out here by uh, not started, in progress, uh, completed, and overdue. Um, and you can click any uh, one of these categories to go in to view the items. Uh, or over here, under service orders you can just click that and this will display all of your service orders to edit a service order just uh, click on uh, one and it will open um, to the general tab here where you've got start and end date uh, status you know with percent complete and some information um, about the service order any notes that you want to add back uh, these notes will synchronize back to SI 2015 um, there's an items tab here uh, where you've got um, in this case, a uh, labor item added here for a service call charge. Um, and then if there were any other equipment that was added, uh, you know, any other pieces of equipment, I should say, um, they would display here as well or any other labor. Uh, if any repair items uh, were added from uh, SI2015, uh, they would display on this tab. In this case, there are none. Uh, this looks like this is to uh, reprogram a control system. Um, now, the site items tab here is where um, your installers in the field can add uh, products and or labor to a um, service order and uh, these items can then be synchronized down to SI 2015 and then added properly like actually choosing uh, a real item from your database and so this is not reading your catalog when you go to add a product uh, I'll demonstrate here when I click uh, add product um, you can come in here and um, we try to get you to type in you know, the manufacturer and model name here as closely as possible. But again, you may not know um, exact everything out in the field of, of what you're trying to sell here. So I'm going to try this with um, Elan colon and I'm going to type TS2. And the description is going to be um, control system. I'm just typing a little um, description there. Um, unit price here if you want to add that for the uh, client to sign off on hopefully um, you know how much this is in your database I'll uh, type in a price here of course 
um, however they get that information in the field will be up to you, what they call back in. But let's say um, while out here, besides reprogramming, um, there uh, was a system that was added or a touch panel that was added. Um, we'll go ahead and save that. Um, now, you might want to add labor as well for this. So this might be the price of the item and then to install this out on the site. Um, you can see here, um, this is set at 100, but it is editable because I had that box checked to allow the installer to change the price. So as you um, take a look here, we'll say this was, uh, you know, installation of new uh, touch panel and uh, say it took an hour at $100 an hour. You can save that. Um, and then we'll add another labor line item here maybe for... Um, programming the actual what they were sent out there so uh, programming you then come here and uh, change this if the rate is different and we'll say that it was uh, two hours of programming on this um, service call so we'll save that again now these site items um, can be synced back to SI 2015 and added uh, that will be shown a little bit later um, the approved tab here is um, intended to get an approval from um, the client uh, out on the site here that the work was done and this was you know work was done to their satisfaction and uh, they can choose to sign here either on some sort of touch panel whatever you um, if you're on a mobile device an iPad or something like that uh, or with a mouse uh, on a regular uh, laptop I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, scribble something in here and you know you check this to agree to approve this click approve um, so it's now showing that this service order is approved the site notes tab here is for adding any site notes that you want. Um, these do not synchronize back to SI 2015 though, so um, these are intended only to be viewed out here in the mobile install interface. Um, you have the installers tab here where um, you could fill in uh, actual hours if you want to adjust this, but this is pulling from those uh, site items that we added for um, um, how much time was spent out there on the job. Uh, there's an images tab here that you can uh, drag and drop images or click the add button if you want to add those. Now these also do not synchronize back to SI 2015 but they can be viewed out here in the mobile install interface. Uh, the documents tab here is uh, any reports or other files that you uh, published from SI 2015 to mobile install. In this case a service order um, report. And then here's an analysis at the end. Um, for labor hours, estimated resource hours, and the actual hours. Uh, and this all depends on you know what was pre-added to the um, item. There were no hours, it was just a service called flat fee, but uh, this is uh, what was estimated on this and this is what it actually took. And again, this can all be synchronized now back to SI 2015. Back in SI 2015, uh, you can go out to uh, schedule manage service orders. Uh, select any service orders that you want to update. Um, you can select them all if you'd like. Um, and you're going to click the Update From button up here in the Mobile Install section of the ribbon. So that's the one that we just edited. We've now updated that here uh, in SI 2015. And then, of course, you can uh, edit this or double-click it to edit it. Uh, here you can make any additional edits that you'd like. Um, you can set your, your progress to complete it and mark it as, say, 100% you know, complete. Um, as you're going through this, of course, you can edit address or contact information, um, see any notes um, that would have synchronized back uh, from mobile install from the uh, general tab. Here's the um, a labor item tab. That's what was added originally, the service call. Um, now, if any site items were added, the site items tab will be lit up here. And when you click that, uh, you're going to see what was added out in the field. So this, um, an item was added, um, there's some programming labor, another uh, bit of install labor for a total here. And um, you're going to need to add these to the service order. So you need to select each one of these and, and properly add them from your SI uh, 2015 catalog. So I'm going to highlight this item here. Um, and we're going to add this to service order. And uh, it filters, it's looking through your database. Um, it tries to do it best based on category and subcategory and keywords. But in this case, because uh, there was a space here, it didn't find what we're looking for. So you can always clear um, the filter or hit the reset filter button up here and then search for what you're looking for. In this case, uh, there was no space. So we'll just you know add this product. 
Um, you'll see the little checkbox showing that it was added. And uh, here, the products tab is lit up to indicate that there is now a product here that's been added properly to this um, service order. And uh, again, you can do the same thing for labor. You select um, an item here and click add to service order and you'll be um, prompted to select you know, uh, labor items from your list or you can create a brand new one here uh, if you'd like. And uh, once you've done that, of course, um, you'll, you'll add all of the labor items and then uh, save and close this, uh, run any reports that you uh, wish to run. I'll just save it for now here. Um, there's a list of reports if you want to compare uh, you know, estimated versus actual um, for this costing uh, report. Um, or you could create a QuickBooks estimate based on the items that you've added. Uh, but keep in mind, you've got to finish doing these site items, make them real items here, and then you'll be able to um, uh, export that out to QuickBooks if, if that's your intent. Uh, when you're done, just uh, save and close the service order.